Hi, Christine. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, all right, I think. I'll let you know. Hi, Anne. Hey? How's Anne? I don't know. I'll go and find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Morning. Morning, Carol. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Are you? Not really. I've got this awful virus I've caught off of Rachel and Molly. It's horrible. Oh, oh yeah. That's... Like really coughing and oh, I felt all right yesterday. It goes and comes. It lasts it lasts about 10 days. Oh, that's what so... Annie got. Oh, has that? Annie's got... Yeah. You can't stop coughing and your throat feels ooh, like razor blades. Oh, nasty. No. I think there's a lot of it going around, isn't there? Oh, hang on. Let me see who else I've got. Yeah. Gordon. Morning, Gordon. Hello. Uh, yeah, Anne's struggling at the moment, so uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay. okay. <laughs> so they've got it as well then, have they? <laughs> or Anne has. Yeah, I think Gordon's had it too, but Anne's definitely mm. not well. It's Morning. not very nice. Morning. No. Morning. You just carry on without me. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We'll just carry on. We're just discussing yeah. health. How are you? You all right, Dave? Yeah, I'm getting there. That's oh, right. How's your little How's your little furry friend? <laughs> oh, Frodo. <laughs> What's his just... name? I've only just bloody um, stopped. Oh. Well, like having a baby. It's like having a baby, isn't it? Yeah. I had a whinge of mail, but. Oh. So, well, a puppy isn't just for a part of the day, it's for the whole of the day. Mm. Yeah, they're hard work, aren't they, till they settle down? You forget, don't you? You see this lovely little cuddly thing and think, oh, it's going to be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are, they are lovely, but equally, it's not. Yeah. It isn't just a five minute, oh, you play with it, give it something to eat, put it down and carry on with your life. No. Don't worry about that. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. They want, they're there. Never mind. Nine point nine percent of the day. <laughs> Hey, oh, this morning yeah. I was out playing football with a flipping thing. <laughs> it's like, I think, oh, I think we got, I don't know if I got a dog nice. or Ronaldo. You didn't notice him there. Hello? 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 What happened there? I don't know. I heard a voice. I heard a voice. Sounds like Papuli. No, Carol's gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Carol's had a really bad sore throat and cough like Anne and Gordon have had. Well, yeah. Gordon, um, Gordon didn't seem so bad this morning, but um, he's just disappeared to go and see to Anne because she wasn't feeling too good. So, she texted me earlier. Mm -hmm. So she's alive. <laughs> <laughs> see a hand come out. And, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I've I was blowing my nose earlier thinking, do you know what? I think I've got some sort of, my throat feels tight. Yeah. Lobby, is, I think. It's like there's I'm, a virus going around, isn't there? Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, another one. My mum, I spoke to her it, Sunday, I think it was unusual for me. Um, and she said that they'd had, she went around and had her booster jab. And the nurse said, do you want the flu jab as well? She said, probably put it in. <laughs> Get it in there. So, yeah, they had both at the same time. Oh. Seems I to be. I got my flu jab on Saturday. You got it on sa this Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, the flu one. They're obviously doing it. You have to be six months in it before they do the other one. Mm, I think so. Yeah. I can't remember when mine was. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine or uh, end of this month i'm due are you end of this month all oh, right oh, I, I was on that. the 29th for the fourth was my last um covid one i'm just trying to find mine to see when mine was you have to keep that card because they like it's handy. yeah yeah i got it somewhere but then again, I've got it on on an app as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got the app. I've got a couple. I've got the COVID um, report every day one, which is Doctor T uh, Professor Tim and that blog. Mm. That's quite a good one. I don't know what I've done with one now. There's Pauline's coming. Now there was a. Oh, no, it wasn't Carol, was it? Twenty fifth of April. I have my last one. Oh. What day did you say you had yours? Twenty ninth of April. Oh, that was just a few days before you. Morning, Pauline. Hi. Morning. Yeah, morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> Everybody, all right? Yeah, everybody's all right. Carol was here and she's disappeared again. Oh. <laughs> He's got a sore throat and a cough. Oh, but, right. Oh, dear. But I think there was voices in the background, so I think somebody might have come to see Peter. She just disappeared. Right. Well, from right. Carol, well, then, Who was that? Carol. I don't know. Hi, Dave. Oh. Hi, Dave. It's Carol here. <laughs> Wow, Rachel's on a Zoom meeting from work. Can we can we run two Zoom meetings on the same internet broadband? Don't think so. Don't know. Oh well, I won't have to do it then. She's lost her connection for work. <laughs> I'll have to leave it then. I'll watch it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't, didn't realise that, so I have to be careful with that. She's just got this Zoom meeting till twelve. So um. Okay, then I'll, um, I'll watch it online. <laughs> okay, then I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll have a think about that, and I'm, what I might do is um, do it on. I might be, there might be a way I can do it on Zoom at the same, on um, YouTube at the same time. Oh, right. Okay, Hang on, then. just give me oh. two six. <laughs> I'm just doing it now. I go into I don't know. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> to YouTube. Choose the artwork public. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I've got I'll, 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 i it should be because all right. She's got a training me meeting this morning. She doesn't have them every week, though, does she? No, no. No, so it's just a one off. But you get yeah. the video. I'll watch it later, don't worry. This don't doesn't, worry. I don't think this is going to work. No, okay, don't worry then. I don't think my <laughs> internet's not quick enough to no. hack it. Don't think of these things, do you? <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. I'll sit and have a rest instead. <laughs> Oh, it's only going to be a short one today anyway, because, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like a coiled spring. It's just going to flow out of me. Okay, all right. My, my words. Okay, then I'll watch you all later. Okay, then I'll see you later. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, so she's not rejoining. No, um, her daughter Rachel, because she lives with Rachel, has got a, a Zoom training meeting. Oh, I see. So yeah, I understand now. I don't. Yeah. Think, I'm pretty. Sh I don't think you can run two Zoom meetings on the same doodle, unless you, no. well, you can if they've got different accounts. But I don't know how. Oh no! Oh well. She said that. But it's not every week. It's only going to be the one-off. So um, Carol said, oh, good, I can sit up, put my feet up. I said, well, don't. That's when I said, don't worry, because <laughs> it's going to be a really quick one today. I'll be in and out like a flopping. That's what you think. Yeah. 
we'll wait and see. Right, so where's Corrine today then? She, no, she's, she's coming next week. Oh, okay. Hi, Corrine. So, we'll see you next week. <laughs> no, she, um, she did say, didn't she, that she might not be able to come every week, but um, well, she wouldn't be able to come every week. Oh. Uh, okay. Watford Housewives. <laughs> wasn't that a TV show? No, it wasn't. Maybe. Hi, Gordon. Just to say hello to David. Nice can't hear you. You're not very loud, Gordon. Uh, he's a bit pasty, isn't he? I oh, know he's cut his hair off and all his strengths gone as well. Yeah. He looks a bit. He looks a bit pasty. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's a ca he's got a low resolution camera, hasn't he? No, let's take that out. Let's go. Out. Is that better? Can you hear me now? No, you're still not very loud. Uh. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> uh. No, still not very loud. You have to shout. You go to audio settings. Yeah, mute, yeah. Mic microphone input level. Turn it up. Audio settings. Both on maximum. Oh, well that... And it's actually showing about 10% when it's uh, input level flashes off. What's going on? Oh, well. You'll have to... Have okay, a... Dave. If I shout, can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you. It's not that bad. Don't, don't get too um, despondent. Ah. We'll, oh, we'll enjoy the peace and quiet. All I was going to say was, I saw Terry in the week. Yeah, he said you were oh. going to be up. Yeah. He went to your... the Wimborne Market and he bought me that for 25 quid. Oh! oh. <laughs> he didn't have Wimborne Market. He didn't have any strings on and uh, it was rusty and uh, I put it all back together. Wow, uh, that's good. Uh, That's louder, than, that's louder than your voice. <laughs> yeah. Actually, a, actually, a banjolini. It's not a, ba a banjolini. Oh, a it's banjolini. Metal strings and it makes a noise. Yeah. Does make a quite a strong noise, that. Mm. Yeah. Very good. That'll keep the, that'll keep the ukuleles on the control, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you meet him at Wimborne Market? Didn't even know it was still on. Well, he, he phoned us up and said, I've seen a, a ukulele for a ukulele banjo for uh, 25 quid. What do you think? And you can't lose that, can you? No. But there's no strings on it, and uh, the tail piece is broken. There's a few bits to sort out on it. But uh, yeah, Brilliant. great. Thank you. Mm. So, did you actually meet him there then? Anne's appearing. Morning, Anne. Hi, Anne. Right, back to your heart, Dave. Quickly do it. Yeah, I know. Every... No, last week's was good. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Yeah, it seemed to have gone. Um... That's Anne's one. A lot of them are very, um, the, I mean, what's the word? I don't know. I, I didn't analyze them too much. I just thought, quick, get them online. They're looking really good. Very, yeah, that's, that's Anne. Very um, illustrative almost. You can imagine it in a book, as well as a jigsaw puzzle, like Gordy said last week. That was good, that. I think that was me. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I always do. I'm always doing jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, carols. Lovely. It is, isn't it? It's almost like um, she she might have used uh, like watercolor pencils there. Very very, what might have been? I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. That's how mm. it comes in? Oh, that was a bold statement from our Chrissy, I think. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> I thought. 
it's not going. quite as dark as that in real life. I think um, I took the photo and it wasn't very good light. But... Um, no, it's really good. Oh, thank you. It's not it's not quite that dark. It is quite dark, but not not on the bridge side. It isn't quite that dark, I don't think. One of the things I found, I, I had a, a little do a go on mine at, during the week as well, or for an hour or what, I can't remember, on and off. And um, one of the things I was disappointed was um, the light wasn't, I don't know, there didn't seem enough. You've captured it on the far hill and that, th there's some yellow there that makes it look um, I don't know, warmer, a bit brighter. And I, I lost that. That, that was Jewish. Corrine's. That's her second picture in watercolour, she said. Oh, it's Corrine's. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought it might have been Joyce's because it's yeah. sort of going towards her style. Oh, oh well done, tree, Yeah. Yeah. Isn't she a clever girl? Mm. Very good. Very good. So, I mean... That's her only her second watercolour. That's what she says, yeah. Yeah. So Excellent. brilliant start that is. And that I did say to her, I mean, the the thing about it is five, ten, whatever years time, you'll be painting away and, and you'll see one of the original early ones and think, where's that, where's my naivety gone? Where's that charm gone? <laughs> it's really hard. It, to, to suppress the technical um, expertise is all very well. Knowing how to do something that's perceived to be doing it correctly isn't always the right thing to do. No. Um, no. Which is why I keep saying um, about the portraits, don't, don't worry, if it doesn't look exactly, it ain't supposed to look like the person particularly, it's just a get off of that one it's um it's about you know creating a piece of work it's it's more about just you and the image really and getting on with it well hmm. might sound like that. um you know I, i'm looking forward to where was yours where was gordon's one then did you do one, He did. Didn't it come up? No. Uh, no. It, it must have been further on. Hang on. Oh, there we I, are. <laughs> I, got, I framed his up as well. <laughs> he, he always puts a mount round it, which makes it look a bit... Bleh. So I framed it. Hang on. Where we go? Share the screen, Dave. Yes, I'm going to now. Hang on. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. He's captured a bit of light. He's brought the the buildings a bit closer as well. Better angle. Yeah, they're all nice. I, I said I, um, that I was quite... There should be one Gordon Webb. Oh, there it is. No, oh, that's, that's, that's mine. That's our, that. poorly, that's our party. Oh, that's... Proper Dean yeah. Valley, that is. I knew I've missed a few. There you go. Wow. You've come. You've done the opposite. You've come a bit further back. I I did a different picture. I think because um when you put the pictures up to start with, I think I printed off this one, which is the one house. And then when you did the video last week, it was the one with the three houses in. So anyway, I stuck to the one that I printed off. So yeah. Yeah, I cropped it, didn't I? Yeah. Because I preferred it that way. That was my one, but that's changed now. There's um, yeah. See, I cropped the image off. Ah, oh, that was Gordon's. I framed it up properly. Gives it even more interest, doesn't it? More of a. It's clever. Nice trees. Yeah, moved a few oh, of the bits nice. around. Moves, yeah. The sky's got a bit of, and he's captured a bit of light in the background as well, which is what I was 
um, whinge in a bag. So. Very good. Yeah, you well can, right, everybody. everyone can pat themselves on the back for that. Yeah, yeah, they're all nice. Our Joyce is busy. She's um, she was on holiday holiday last week, and this week she's got she looks after um some elderly people. She's looking after a, a ninety year old. Try and stop her from going on the M twenty five protesting against <laughs> climate change. No, is it oh, climate yeah. house insulation? <laughs> Bless her. Mm. No, I jest in I jest in haste. <laughs> Today's subject is gonna be a winner, isn't it? <laughs> well, we, we've all joined the Taliban now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like well, that's that's the classic joke that um oh it's going back a while now that um all the taxi drivers, all the yellow taxi drivers in Bournemouth for Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, was, that made me smile. Mm. Yeah, we've <coughs> got, I, I've got this image. It's got, it's got a good suntan there. Mm. When I printed out, it was even darker, really red. So what I've done, to, I've sketched this one. But I'm more inclined to paint it in not specific that I mean that's probably in oil, but it'd be good for Chrissy. That's a you know a daub it on one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Splat it on. Quite like that. I like the I don't know from one to the other, if you sort of one to the other, that one could maybe it's just me, but I look at that and go. Yeah, that's 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 art. That'll do. So, anyway, anything can can turn out today. Okay. <laughs> but I like I quite like that one. Well, I'm attracted to that. I did have a a quick go last night. I'm lying now. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm not telling the whole truth here. No, here's today's actual one. That's we're going to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh dear, oh dear. Actually, it's, it's not too bad actually. It was. Um, I think it was. I was doing a a doodle, and I put like a stick figure with an eyes and a, and a mouth and a curly hair. <laughs> oh, so, so yeah, you can see. Look, I put the lines across. It was where I was saying, look. From the nose, from the eyebrows to the nose, you know, you break it up into thirds, and mm. that was it. And it was a proper deal. So <laughs> I was just trying some colours yesterday, and I thought, oh, I'll paint it on here. I was looking for just scrap piece of card, so I painted the figure. I quite like it actually. It's got a cartoony feel to it. It doesn't oh. look like Peter at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I couldn't get rid of the the lines because they were all done in Sharpie, weren't they? Sharpie pen. I'm going to change my microphone. So, and then I'm going to I'm going to knock this picture out in two uh, hours. Yeah, go on. Go on then, dare you? No. He's right. disappeared again. I haven't got a shirt sure. off. Don't look, careful. There you go. I'm back. Hello. Hello to you too. What's wrong with that? I mean, that's blooming marvellous bit of painting there. Carol's not here because I've, I've got a big decision to make. <laughs> what to do for the background? I had some paints earlier. 
what I said on my um my thing. You get tidy up and it seems to be more of a mess than it was to start with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that moving thing, isn't it? You move things from one place to another to tidy the other up and then realise that where it's gone is now a mess. <laughs> oh dear. I like the colour you've done on that when you've painted for the background. Which one? The background of that one. The, it, it hasn't got a background. Well, that bit of colour. This? No, on the... Oh, it looks like NC there. Yeah. 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 That colour's yeah. Right. Trouble is with that, it's juxtaposition. It will clash with the with the what's it anyway i haven't mixed up any colors yet um i clean look can you believe this yeah, I, I was telling people not to do it and what did i do mm, now i'm at a loss i don't know where to fall right, no. i've got some blue i've got some green and i've got some of that color i've got some dirty water there's brush number one Brush number two. I can blame the dog if I'm not totally organised. I can't look after dog sit and yeah, whatever. Stop whinging, get on with it. <laughs> he ate into my preparation time. <laughs> I got my my favourite rigger has gone all, gone all, gone a well. Oh, well. no, it hasn't. it's back. There's the other brush. So, and the mop. So we need some paint, don't we? Well, I'm going to go splish, splash, blush for this. <laughs> oh, here we go then. Background, Carol. We're going to put clean water on first. You're very close. It's too far forward, I think, Dave. The video. Yeah. Hang on. Do we agree? Yeah. I've yeah. got the whole picture in. No, back a little bit. No, too much. That's better. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. That's... That... yeah. What a team, eh? <laughs> you are me, I'll play it. <laughs> bad news Sunday. Really bad. What was that? Well, if I had a hill, an elder brother, he died on Sunday. That's that my um well, it's Peter um Watson. When I moved to Western in 19, well, I don't know, 85 or something like that, we um, formed a band together. Um, you know, we are in a, started a band and spent a lot, of, a lot of time together, like people do in a band, you know. Yeah. And uh, he didn't make it yes, Sunday, he just... Um, Oh. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, mm. long. Well, the good thing is, like it, like always, we got loads and loads of lovely memories. Mm. Mad memories. When you're in a band, it's mad. You know. But lots of other things went on as well as. So, um, he lived in Bristol and when he started his his a business his graphic design business up he'll get a phone call saying can you come over and set me computers up for his design business and all the rest of it so I had to go over and used to go over there for that and, hmm not to dwell on it so that was a bit of raw sienna Started off a bit of blue. I'm 
just mixing the blend in the same. It's a bit like um, foliage, this, isn't it? It's going to be a bit weak, I think. Just um, playing with tone. But there's no... There's no... Um, dark or light side is there there's a so it's one of you've got to decide for yourself which side you want some the light to come from yeah it's so, a bit like a sort of studio photo isn't it hmm. you know, it's not well i'm not actually looking at the photo i'm looking at the the painting one to be quite honest oh that one yes yeah well i've i've got both um in front of me so i'm just i think it's important to spend a little bit of time even though i'm i'm in a mad rush to finish by half 10 half 10 <laughs> friday <laughs> <laughs> no i i just i think mm, well anyway the background is the one place where you can have a little bit of fun once you, well, a little play with colour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm conscious of putting too much raw sienna on, though, because um, there's a danger that it'll look like um, what those things they have in church, sort of like religious sort of glow around the subject so hey, yeah. kind of, mm. <laughs> those things I used to used to paint with gold with gold and uh, I can't remember what the word is now it's my homework but it <laughs> it'll it'll fizzle back hmm quite nice what color have I got on here a sort of a yucky Just wondering if I can make use of it anywhere else as a tone or a shadow. Why not? So I'm just going to put a few lines. So I, I spend all this marvelous time put, putting some pencil lines on to help me um, see what's, you know, exactly where an eyebrow is, roughly. As soon as you put paint on, it disappears, doesn't it? Oh. So I'm just using a bit of the background colour to wangle it in. Decide. Well, I, ordinarily I'd use, um, what's the name? Burnt Sienna. But in the absence of that. Oh, wow. Look at the speed. Oh, speed. I'm, good. I'm going like a rocket here. <laughs> Big sigh that was. it's funny really the headdress on or the headband on the photo is different to the one that peter old tools wearing so do i go um dark i think i will on the um the knots or whatever they call to keep the band together too late now i've done it just looking for bits of shadow, really. There's loads down here. Hey, girls and lady and Gordon, even. <laughs> <laughs> lady Gordon. Such a nice, isn't it nice? We haven't got any ears to play with. Just notice yeah. that. No ears. Ah. Oh. It's true. So, so. But we want so. one without a nose. 
<laughs> there be somebody wearing a mask. <laughs> I think what I keep trying to say to myself, yeah. we got with noses, is it isn't an it isn't a prominence. Well, it's always in some people it's a prominent, but it's just a a skin. It's just it's just tones of the the shadows on the skin make make it look like it comes out. <laughs> it's just a bit of bone with the same skin everywhere else. That's um, just sort of on top of it, isn't it? You know, it's really. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's all right. I know what I'm on about. Mm. It is. It's just a. It's a layer. It's a. It's just skin over the top of something. So once you get over them, well, I keep telling. That's why I keep telling myself, even though I have the same <laughs> same problem painting it as everyone else. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Um, I struggle. I think what I do is mix up some flesh. Today's adventure, I'm going to use raw sienna and my. Oh, just, you just got. Do you see that? You just got a pink nose. Raw sienna and. Um, my trusty rose color the more raw sienna you put in the the lighter it will get but i'm actually going to if i am going to mix up two lots and the, the second one i'm going to add a bit of blue to it so it goes really dark And then I can um, utilize that even more to add some more of these. I might try using the flat brush rather than that one. It's got really dark here, actually. It's that time of year, isn't it? Wind, more wind. I suppose it's autumn. Something's going on out there. I'm kind of fed up. Right? Up. Supposed to warm up tomorrow, don't we? Really? Oh, that that day, yeah. Look forward to that. Mm. Mind you, they're not always right. <laughs> Very, yeah. Uh, apparently, I, I was reading, I think it was on the a splash bit on the BBC that um, they they think AI, artificial intelligence, they can train it to tell you what the weather's going to be, you know, in two hours. Oh. So you, you can throw your onion away or whatever. Seaweed. Seaweed, yeah. Seaweed can do it in half an hour. It's <laughs> AI. So right, I'm still thinking about shadows and darks. Just try and put some bits in place, really, in situ. Is Gordon's throat better then? A bit of red. How much lipstick do you want, Lawrence? That's a bit, a bit cool, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Gordon's playing with his computer. Let's try and put some, I was going to say, put some flesh on the bones. <laughs> and it is a lighty fleshy colour I'm always apprehensive 
still need more but i've got the three colors anyway so i've made a decision that the dark color is flesh but more with blue in it keep adding blue will give us the shadow tones that um that, that are prevalent I hope you like so your baba knows I'm I have the same problem with lips. <laughs> well, I think my issue I'm just gonna lift it off a bit. The issue I've got is using the um the Alzerian crimson stroke. Um rose matter that I use is it's a heavy staining colour right. and so I'm just thinking at the same time it's a heavy staining colour so when you if you make a mistake or you think oh I just got too much there and you want to lift it off it's flipping hard because it stains into the paper so you can't lift it off but he's coming on. It is a bit of a cheat using because I've got that flesh tone, the um, Saint Petersburg flesh one. It is a bit of a cheat in um, in the I use it as a as a filler to start things you know, to move things on and gradually build his face up. But I'm just, it's a foundation. Sounds like makeup, doesn't it? Mm. I'm just using it as a sort of a, a foundation to to start it off. Once you've got some of those um, once you've got the shadows in, you can start Add in a little bit of extra on it. Chrissy can use white and just lighten up the flesh tone, which I'll do anyway in a minute. The normal flesh tone. Ooh, look at him. Very archy. Well, I've not used any white yet. Even though I've I've got it there ready to 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 slap in if I want. Well, I will in a minute. It's not. Um, it's not easy actually looking at one picture as the sketch and the other trying to get the colours. Or the the feel from one picture into another, one painting into another. It's not it's not an easy thing to do. I'm discovering here because one picture is very very red and dark, and the other one's not so. But I'm going to stick to my my theme. If the if my flesh looks a bit too pinky, too red, I'll add a bit of the raw sienna to it. And try and, f try and find some, some lines. But there's more shadow on one picture than the other. They, well, I suppose it's bound to be, it's a different bloke, isn't it? They kind of made him up quite well. Quite strong paper, this um, Rivers Meet Jackson's one. 
does a really good job. Is that the very thick one you had? Yeah, I had another piece left from last week. It's like straw, it's a really strong card. Had a little bit more blue and a bit of raw sienna. That would give me a grey shadow if I want a really light shadow tone. I'm going to put it in strong for now. I'm trying to think where that goes, sort of there, and get into the There's a strong one down there. I'm not too worried about getting them over strong because I'm definitely going to bring some white into the game at some stage. It's amazing that all these palettes I've got and the one I keep using is this little dinky thing from Frank Heron at Dorchester. Try and... I'm not going to get that right, am I? don't think so. I could be playing with this forever. I think I was looking at the... Yeah. I'm going to put another one up there and say that's him sorted. <laughs> God is great, isn't it? Aloha, something. Well done. It's just a question of having a Having a laugh, really, you know, build up some shadows. <laughs> what I find amazing is what you can what you can achieve with just a few colours. You know, I haven't used that many. I'm gonna put a Big mistake down here for now. Mm -hmm. Trying to think. It's actually, there's another one here that I, I knew about earlier. Maybe I was a bit hasty earlier saying, you know, it'll be done in half now. <laughs> Just got to keep building it up, am I? That's the one. Well, that is right. It is right, but I want to put a hint of blue in it. This, there's. there's the blue adds a, adds the the feeling of not being shaved. Well, let's add a bit of white tone in there. See what happens. Beautiful. Try to lift it up, put it down, shadow under there. Mm -hmm. No right and wrong, though, is there? Apart from trying to find a shape. Find the shape. Mm 
feels a the colours feel a bit I don't know muted today I don't know why maybe I'm trying to rush no I'm not, I'm not I'm just relaxed taking it easy chilling A little smidgen of white. Just had it just makes the paint flow a bit better. Come on, Lawrence, where are you? Na, 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 na. Na, na. Bit darker, bit darker. Dark bit in there. Not using as much paint today as I have done in the past. Try and be a bit more economical with it. <laughs> the um, I still got this thing about using. Initially using green as the eyes, and then a little touch of blue on top of it. Maybe it's just these glasses, they need renewing. Do a round brush. Well, not round, some of a point on it. Just think it adds a little bit of under color glow to the eyes. You can always build the blue up later, but you still get that nice emerald feel to it at some stage. I want a bit bit more of this shadowy tone here. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. kind of I well, I don't want to put, no, I, I'm conscious of it, but I don't want to put a, give it a moustache. But I'm not, going to get too bogged down with it because I'll, I'll just lift it off with um, clean water anyway. Oh. Such a busy week. What with the conference on and everything? Got to watch that. Just a bit of flesh tone now, just filling it in a few few areas. Great fun though, isn't it? It's well, I don't think it's it's not so much fun. It's quite it's really rewarding mm. to see a from nothing suddenly you get this entity up here. <laughs> That's a good term, I like that. And you, you're not sure, are you? But when something happens, it don't have to make you feel. I don't know. You've achieved something interesting. It does to me anyway. Especially when I'm only using this, sticking with these three brushes as well. 
um, and the colors, the color mix, I've not changed. I'm just sticking with the raw sienna and the little hint of red and a bit of blue if I want to go really shadowy. Gives it a, maybe that's the difference this week to what I've done in the past is using the raw sienna instead of the lemon, the cadmium lemon yellow, whatever colour it was. Maybe that's making the making the difference. The the tonal feel to it is it does feel slightly different. Definitely has a what I'm doing this week is rather than in previous times I've I've put oodles of white, you know, really squished it on. This week I'm just using it's not very it's almost dry in there. And I'm just sticking a, a little bit of that on the brush to give it um to give me some sort of anchor for want of a better term. Because I know um not so much today, but later on. I'll show you with one of the other pictures in a minute. Um, with that little bit of white on there, it gives me such a nice um, layer of paint to adjust things later when it's dried back. I think I'm losing a lip here. A little bit. Mm. Come on, baby, let's go. I've been moving all my um, music stuff out of the into the uh, log cabin at the moment. Hence, my that was why I was, my remark about every time you try to clear up, it seems to get worse. That's where that stems from. Draw this raw sienna. It's such a nice colour. It adds such warmth to uh, what you're doing. The tendency is to want to use it more and more and more. Let's have a look here. What we do is the um, problem I've got with being left handed. I spend most of the time with my arm in wet paint. See what we can do with the rigger. Some of this tony car. Yeah. Get it in there. Don't be shy. Sure. Yeah. Just here with that sun. But these, this sort of, once you get the rigor old, it's the bits, this take, this is the, the stuff you do when it's dry and you come back a, a week, a month, a year later and think, do you know what, that looks a bit, needs a bit of and then you just sort of adjust it again and that goes on forever try to get a just looking at those oops come here 
Lewis. Yep, 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 yep. Carol's the um, one for this. I feel like a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. it's no, it's no, there's no way around it. You just, you are a makeup artist at this point in time. I just want to lift a bit of that off. Bruh. Knife, but it isn't what I want. I want it to be more surfing. In my mouth. Enjoy the silence. Just a bit of light, flashy colour that I'm just squishing it on. What I didn't do today, which I was part of my plan, <laughs> was to make the before I put any colour on the face was to make it wet with clean water and true to form I forgot to do it so now I'm just kind of regretting that just wanted by putting the clean water on it I was con I was hoping that it would give me more of a more time to play What colour of lips? Colour of skin, only just brighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think too bright. Doing any there. I can feel it. Big mistake. Should have just stayed with the um, <laughs> with the one one reference image. So I've confused myself. It's hard to do that with me. 
Mm-hmm. I fall down this uh, color uh, back there. Isn't it? Problem I've got is the um, my printer has printed out um, the nice image of Peter O'Toole, but in half red. So my my pictures getting redder and redder. But being watercolour, I'm sort of thinking, don't worry, it will float, it will, what do you call it, fade back, turn back. But the, um, yeah, I think I'll add, they've left a little line here. But I'm Pretty sure I could brighten up to make his lips look a bit more prominent. Come on, Peter, you nearly there. Well, I'm still looking at the, you know, the other image as well. So I'm almost getting a a composite, a hybrid of the day. <laughs> Man, it's quite nice. Eyebrows are not. What I did notice on the Peter Tool one is they concentrated quite a lot on little um, lines on the eyes. It's got these little Lines coming down, features, aren't they? I suppose. Wrinkles, worry lines. Call them. Um, add some more blue in a minute. And there's a bone, sort of a bony, structurally line somewhere just in there. That, comes down into those crow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's lines here as well it's the big one isn't it right right there Don't want to push it too far, otherwise it makes the nose look even darker. Just want a light flush down there, don't we? Right, we're going in. With try and blend that across and this side, it's in the shadow a little bit. Oh, Red Indian Warrior. Mm. When it's dries, I can lift, mm. lift and um, put things back in. Just try and find some shadows now. Some darks. Add some more darks in. Just one there, prominent one. If I run out of paint in a minute. I haven't used the rigger yet. Oh, yes, I did on the eye a bit. Oh, too much red. Bit of burnt sienna, raw sienna on me. Try and warm it back down to a deep, brainy, ready new colour. Oh, 
what I'm doing is put is add in little blocks of you know, this color in a particular shape and then moving off somewhere else to um, let it dry off a bit, let it tote, cool off, so to speak, and then add some, just nothing on the brush, almost just damp, and then I can smooth it down, back down. Really need my glasses in. Like we were saying the other week, Chrissy, isn't it? It's like you put one bloody line on, and the whole thing goes. You think, "Oh, I've lost it," you know? Yeah. It's so well. So it's it's slightly frustrating, but you just got to be bold and just sort of say, "Right, I'm I'm sticking with what I'm doing." I've been looking at it from quite close up for quite some time now, so. Stood back up now. Funny, it's because you see things so differently from different perspectives as you stood up and sat down. What I might do. Well, not my, what I'm going to do. It's amazing how quick the water gets dirty. I've got two huge pots of water. Oh, well, it's because I'm concentrating, I suppose. right with oil and acrylics you just go flick with a bit of bit of white and it stands out and stays stays there and you can sort of have fun with it forever in watercolor it dry the bit you put on the nose that I just don't touch that <laughs> no i'm not going to i've got just right. i've got that there and a and a couple of bits to on the eyes as well once you then it sort of starts to come alive or well, one thing i was going to do is the the thing about the these nostril things is it's really dark it's just a dark skin area so well i've been using come to the conclusion that just mix up a really dark fleshy tone and use that the tendency is to use a really dark um almost black or whatever i don't think it works it's it's more um more to, once you mix, once you start off with a skin tone, stick with it. Well, I'm going to move away from that now because I'm scared. Mm -hmm. And start, I need to fizzle out, put some effort into the, which is easy because it's, I've already put the tone, the shady bits in. So now all I'm doing is using some white to rehydrate it a little bit of the white got to re rehydrate the white as well i'm afraid there is a big shadow area down here down the bottom let's move that up a bit down here i love that that noise 
it makes you feel like you're a proper artist. Mm -hmm. Scratch, you know, you're sort of the canvas. You're scratching it on, rubbing the paint on. I'm not a frustrated oil painter. I just like the thought of it on watercolor. It's quite nice. Makes you feel like you're well, it's only blocking in, isn't it? Just blocking in color. I'm not going to do much more to this to this um, face bit. I'm going to let it um, relax and come back to it because I I've been on I've done quite a few portraits on a Tuesday and then spent looked at it in the afternoon and thought no I don't like it I'm washing it off because I've tried to I've put too much on it and I think the um, the key thing is to not to put too much on initially you, you, you're just overworking it but that's a, a thing that's just coming by um, the more we do, isn't it? You're just thinking, there's a sound. I've said before, I just want to get a, a system where I can build on, um, improve. But, but initially, it's the same with the landscapes. You've got to build out your confidence and get slick at it. Um, so you, you don't get bogged down with the apprehension of, shall I put this colour here? Shall I put, you know, where do I start? What, what's the basis of it? You know, if you can get over that, then you, get, then you move on to the, <laughs> hopefully you move on to the next level which is adding even more um, information, well, skill of your feelings towards the picture afterwards on top of that. Uh, mm. I quite like that, actually. I think it's... Um, it's got, it's got some here. Now, see, that's burnt umber and blue. Stick. If you're going to make the, if you're going to make the, if you want the skin to go darker, stick with the same regime. So you've got your raw sienna and the red, which gives you the, the base tone colour. If you want to make it darker, either add some green or, or blue to it. It works much better. As you, the burnt umber is just too much. The burnt umber and blue is, is too blooming dark, is in my opinion. Or it is for this. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't fit in. But I think I'm getting there. I'm just putting in what I was saying earlier was just put in a, a I was going to say a blob of colour, but put in some colour, let it dry off. And if you want to tease it, tighten it later, you can. Come on, you can do this. We have to look at that bit a bit more. It's just getting this notion in your head that the nose is a fold of skin over a prominence and the size of the prominence. What you're not actually, what you're seeing is the shadow or the, you know, the different. Mm -hmm. 
think I, dare I do it? How dare I do it? No, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to add a little tint of blue on that side. And just pop it across there for now. And down there. And as it dries with a dry, clean brush, damp brush. Da -da -da. I can then just wipe it on my t-shirt anywhere and then just lightly spread it, smooth it off. If you're not happy, if you feel, well, I'm feeling cool, just use that really light flesh tone if you've got any bits that need tidying up lightening down oops that was a good bit stupid boy put the underlying tones there now as it it's hardly any water on this brush it's just really light mm -hmm. I think I want to put more mm -hmm. more in there and a little bit more in there the eyes are not so prominent. Whew, big sigh there. <laughs> so this changing, changing routine anyway, using um, more raw sienna than previous portrait so I'm quite happy about that I'm starting to, I'm starting to fiddle now why because I'm not as confident as I should I'm gonna add some red to that but the old um, thing I'm always going on about of not adding too many um, colours is you know three colours you'll get away with that's paid off it's, I think it's more important with um, portraits than, than anything if you just stick with the old, you know, if you have three colours on top of each other works, anything more and you're going to get mud. Mud. Glorious mud. Yeah. I think it's near you. What were we going to say? <laughs> when you were whistling, the dog suddenly looked up. <laughs> Did that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Postman's not been this morning. Shush. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, that Ocardo turn up just now. Mm -hmm. No. We use our, Mel uses Ocardo now. Ocardo, mm. Ocardo, or whatever it's called. Mm. Instead of Sainsbury's. Mm -hmm. It's quite 
Interesting. I can't do this standing, sitting down. To be quite honest. Um, I used to like working with an easel. One class that I went to a long time ago, and we yeah. all had easels. No, I much preferred it. I don't think I couldn't stand that long now. Give me backache. <laughs> I kind of, yeah. I, when I, I tend to, I must admit, I, I alternate it, Chrissy. One minute I'm if I'm mm, <laughs> once I get that rigor, <laughs> once I th start thinking rigor, then I I tend to think oh, I want to sit down because I want to get more of a I don't know, more accuracy. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily the the right thing to do. So, but I think the if I was saying to anybody what colours I mean to do that. What colours um would you use for would you recommend for pass for portraits? I'd say get that, get a tube of that, um, or a, a wodge of that um, St. Petersburg flesh. Because mm -hmm. it's such an, a nice base colour. I mean, it's like saying, what colour blue do you want to use in the sea? Well, if you're going to paint the sea, you've got to underpaint it with something initially. And I think this um, flesh tone is about as good as I've come across, really. It sort of really helps you out. There's a line there as well, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Add a little bit there. I think I'm, I'm leave it. Leave it. I'm gonna smooth that down. Don't know why I'm using a straw. Why don't you start a flipping rigger? It sticks to your hand. Forever. Just um I don't know. I don't know. Not happy about it. Mm. I think his lips look a little bit lost. That's, you just took the words out of my, out of my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Not out of his mouth. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just going to say was that, oh. <laughs> that um, I was sort of not happy and you went the lips and I thought yeah that's exactly what I was just thinking mm -hmm. myself I'm gonna have a think about that don't have to do I make it lighter do I make it darker well you could give him a nice smile on him and looks with teeth <laughs> <laughs> looks like who looks like teeth <laughs> See if you'll give him a lovely full bottom lip and he'll look like he's giving a lovely smile. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna you gotta be so so careful with it though. I think it's one one picture I'm looking at, it's really um prominent red, you know, prominent pinky colour. 
whereas the other one, it's not quite so. I think what we'll do, rather than, sometimes maybe the solution isn't the, the subject bit that you're, that you think it is, it's part, part of the solution is the, the bit around it. Mm. Maybe I can soften the colour around the lips rather than actually on the lips. Mm -hmm. Get my other brush. No, he suddenly looks happier now. <laughs> well, as I say, it's a question of do a bit, go away, come back, have another look at it another time. And mm -hmm. eventually you'll get the feel or the look that you want. But like what like I say, what, what tends to happen is you, you put a line on it and think, yeah, that's all right. And then you go away and look at it again and come back and it changes. Yeah, that's the wrong place for that, see? Lift that off. It's got to be there and there. And then what I'm trying to achieve, I'm not achieving it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's going to be one of those. Have a think. Have a drink. Have a drink. Oh, let's see. Bad, bad boy. Can I stop now? I think you know what you're you're sort of trying to do in two hours isn't really possible. <laughs> well, no, because it once it once it dries back, <laughs> once me. it set once it settles down, it's fine. So then I can mm. then I'll come back and lift lift bits off and add bits on yeah. i think that's quite a good i'm not too unhappy with that i'm quite that's really good captured a bit of what i was trying mm. to do there's a few bits like that i can lift it off just give them back a little bit but the eyes are pinky in them in the in the middle so they're just what do you call it bits that you've Finishing off at the end, the um, bit that I'm trying to get here is like a let me just add a bit more. I need to add some blue to the flesh tone and just add a little bit of bit of a line there so it looks like um there's like a a little bit of a shadow under the nose and it's got like a little dimple thing on the top of his lip it comes right the way down into the lip. So, which is just there. Which, um, it's going to take a bit of persuading over the next few minutes. Oh, I didn't think I'd, I must admit, when I started, I didn't think I'd, I'd get, um, As nice a picture as this, to tell you the truth, no. I'm quite pleased. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, I am. Well, I found the other day when I was doing it, um, it's a bit like when paint the sea. As it, as it dries back, you get little lines appear and things, and you think, ah, oh, that looks like a wrinkle. That looks like a that needs to be in something that needs to be enhanced or whatever. Keep finding them. Yeah. Um, today. today, Matthew, I'm going to be <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Oh, so I am. Got a bit of dirty water on the brush. Might as well spread the knees. But you see what I'm doing? I, I could, if I could just put a bit of clean water on that rigger and just wiggle it, I can sort of move areas around and make it make it darker, lighter, all kinds of things and smooth it out. Um, just a little bit more tone there. And there's definitely some tone just there. And there's a big, big bit of tone just underneath there. <laughs> a little bit over there, but that needs to be a bit redder. But just clean water would do that. Now, just gonna add some more shadow to it, the opposite to what I was thinking earlier, and then rest on me. Now, we could play with that for hours. Mm -hmm. Well, I like it. Yeah, really good. A bit more. And I'm quite, quite pleased I'm using just the same colours all the time. Almost, almost a monotone, really, because I'm not adding loads and loads of funny colours to it, extra colours, I'm just making it up as I see fit, really. Got to be some tone there, surely. Hello, Akbar! Hey, well, I don't think I'm going any further here. I'm just going to let it dry off and uh, come back. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. very nice. Well, this... see what I'm on about these brushes? These um, evergreen brushes that are really oil brushes. I washed it off then three times and still got a dark brown splodge on my picture. All I wanted was a little bit of tone there. It just, you, you wash it off and the brush doesn't, it doesn't come out of the brush. Look, it's still coming out now. I think that's really nice. I'm really chuffed with this. I'm not throwing it away. But the thing, what I'm just going to are we off for time? Have we got five minutes? Five minutes. Oh, well, okay then. I said I'd be early, didn't I? Mm -hmm. It's because I'm getting good at it. Or I'm <laughs> getting more confident. Um, no, that wasn't that one. Mm, I've got a couple of... I could actually use that. Um, just put that out 
to one side. No, I'll use Doris. I'll hang on, let me grab. Oh, blimey. Now this this picture of Doris, I haven't touched this for well since we did it. But one of the things but now it's it's been resting for ages and ages, but just by using damp water water on the on the brush, I haven't got a reference picture, but I can just soften areas down and almost become a makeup artist, really. I know, and move the paint around, soften it off, lift it off, put lines in. This is what I'm keep saying about you that's why adding the, the little bit of white into the helps us do that within the paint you wouldn't be able to do it so well with watercolor well, you can move it but it won't go it won't go nice and nice and soft and blend you can do it and you can scrub it and you know bring in tones lift bits off it's so subtle the only thing I don't like about that picture, Dave, if you don't mind me saying, is her teeth. Yeah, I haven't finished it. They I know. Look like she's got buck teeth. <laughs> she has got buck teeth. Has she? <laughs> mm, that's one of the things about. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never finished them. Oh right, okay. But yeah, I'm aware, that was one of the, the bits that, was to be, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. But I've I've just left it and mm. she just well I've got, uh, yeah they she just needs a few few white bits put in and some more shadows and all the rest of it but that's not but I've, I've, what I was saying just now is that the beauty of it is leave if you leave these picture, pictures pictures. Um, as we're getting more confident, we're, mm. we can block them in and work on them so much quicker. But the thing about it is, and this this picture is going to benefit from it, is the more we do, the um, the more we know what to do, or we can add to the ones that we <laughs> that we're doing now, which are hopefully yeah. moved on a bit. And so then we can add the good bits from these newer ones onto those older ones. That's what I'm, that's my, my, my plan and my theory. Yeah. And that's what I'm, I'm aiming to do. Um, it's a bit dark there. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I haven't touched Diana because I'm, I'm thinking I'll know what to do in a few months' time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I will. But yeah, but I can do it with this now. So any any hard lines, I can just smooth them off and blend it in. Like there, there's bits down the bottom of here. Doesn't work too well right now, but tomorrow it will be much better. And and a week time, or you know few days it will soften down so nice and just give it a good scrub <laughs> and you can get some really lovely effects i think that would be wouldn't that be hmm, no there would be a shadow in there wouldn't there it'll be all like that yeah and there be a dark the darkness would come in there got to put a line up you where you close me or a little thin line and perhaps a more 
Oops, a bit more of a, ah, careful. Some sort of line there with some highlight on it. That's why I've got this really light fleshy tone that I can put down and leave it. Leave it for a few minutes and it fades, it fades, fades away. It looks too bright at the moment, but in a minute, in a little while, it fades right back to blending with the skin, which I really like. And there's no reason why I couldn't do it on top of his lip as well. Just give it a little bit of a boost. And there's a bit just there, perhaps. Hmm. Stop, stop tink tiddling, mm -hmm. tinkering. Yeah, nice, sweet. Well done. Good man. And don't forget to put some little bit of highlights. Here and there. Don't forget that one, because it denotes where he's looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember that it's, it's classic with me, wouldn't it? I always say about the robin, you never know what sort of bird you got until you put the whites of his eyes in. <laughs> if, if you get it wrong, you get an evil bird that's saying, that's about to take a chunk out of you. <laughs> but I'm quite pleased with that. I, I'm not... Yeah, I can do more, I can have a play, but good old, good old Lawrence, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it looks much brighter on the screen than it is in reality because I press, not that button, that button, that button. That's more daylight. Mm -hmm. That's even more daylight. It's more... It's not as dark and bright as it was on that on that other screen. No. Yeah. You can see a little bit. It's beauty of this camera. It's got all these different effects on it, so I can I can play around until you get a sort of interesting effect. Hmm. He does look like an Arab. He does. He's only been out in the sun. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. I can work with that. Well, it's over to you guys now. You can do some. <laughs> <laughs> you make it look so easy, though, Dave. <laughs> yeah, he does that every week, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't think it. Well, it was. Hmm. Change my frames a minute. back that's not too bad actually it's it's a portrait it's not a photograph so yeah yeah i think in the light yeah it's reflecting the camera's reflecting more of the um more of the the white than it is than the, than, the, than is actually there come in then try it Black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. That isn't right. See, that's that's really strong. It's not like that. No. It's definitely not like that. It's not as strong as that. It's just the way it is. I wonder if I could put let's see, put that light on. Put the little studio like that. That's a soul. Mm. Difference to it as well. Yeah. I think he, yeah. I wouldn't buy 
far off of that bloke, I'll tell you. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just wonder if I could do a F F thirteen I. What's F thirteen I? She says. Oh, they say. Ah, I tell you if it works. Yes, it did. Oh, well done. F thirteen I is the same on normal people's screen. If you hit print, it's got a print screen button. Um, my, for some odd reason, this computer doesn't. <laughs> uh, it is recording anyway, so. Yep. Let me change cameras. Because I ain't, if it didn't record, I ain't bloody going through this one. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I ain't going to no paint it back. Uh, no. Yes, good. Oh, yeah. See what we come up with next week. <laughs> yeah. As I say, well, it's such a gloomy day today. I might just sit down and do it this afternoon. It's not about, it's, don't get bogged down with the the rhyme and reason. Try and work out, work a little, a little methodology of it. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, look for the shadow. Look for the shadows first. Not black starts. Just use a burnt amber or a burnt sienna and a bit of blue, just to mix in. I use the background color. If you notice, I was using that just to put in, you know, where the lines are, and then. Paint the whole thing with a gentle, a very light flesh colour. As I say, I've got that um, St. Petersburg flesh paint anyway, but if you've got flesh, you can mix it up. It's really light. Um, just paint the whole, the whole skin tone with that first over the top of the ones that you've done, the, the darks. And then it's just a matter of making that very light skin tone darker or mix up a dark version of it just blending them on, just using different shades of the dark on top. Just look at the picture and think, oh, that's dark. You know, I'll put, put a little bit of that there and just do that, keep doing it. And at the end of it, like tomorrow or whatever, like I was saying, when it's dry, you can use, use a damp brush. And if there's any bits that, that have dried a bit hard or if you feel that they're too firm or whatever, you can just blend them in and soften them in. That works really well, and that's it. Picture done. Just like that. Easy. <laughs> I, I still, I still think the um, I'm stuck with that idea of putting a little bit of green in the eyes first, and then don't matter what colour you put on underneath. I just find it. Mm -hmm. I've tried the other way. You know, loads of different ways. If you just put blue, well, it's just blue. But doing that, you get that sort of. Um, Translucent yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. eye yeah. effect, you know. Got a solid block. And you get the option of as it, as you think, oh, hang on, he's got brown eyes, but it doesn't matter. There's still that effervescent sort of sea greeny look about people's eyes. Mm. You know. <laughs> it works quite well. That I quite like that chap. <laughs> I still Diana's my favourite, but like you say. She needs to go to the dentist. <laughs> but uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's my favourite picture because I put it on the the easel next to me wardrobe there. Of course, it's if I go when I go to bed, it's there. So and then I wake up in the morning, I think, oh, bloody, the different look on that one photo on that one yeah. portrait. That's that's. To die for you can't get that with i don't i've never noticed it with a landscape no. all the landscapes that you know seascapes and muddyford keys and that they are what they are they're sort of static but the portraits you, you do it you frame stick one up and frame it then put <laughs> glass on it or anything, and it, just next day or a week later you think oh he's right <laughs> they change <laughs> I can see the fascination with portraits. You know, you have it in a room, and it changes. As the day changes, the figure, it's all weird, spooky. 
<laughs> well, I, I, I can see the attraction with it now. Good old George. Oh, it's his fault. <laughs> well, I don't think we'd have done them without it. But I've, I've got, um, I thought that was funny the other day because this, I haven't told Joyce yet, but this year's Christmas card one is Scrooge. So <laughs> we're going to do Scrooge for a Christmas card. Um, and then Chrissy put, sent me a picture. This is nice. And it was a, a sunsetty, sunrisey on a lake with a big canoe. I said, yeah, that's good. So anyway, I'd already been thinking about another portrait. So I slapped Nora Batty back at her. <laughs> with her curlers and everything. So she's coming up on the horizon. Oh, that's, that's be interesting. <laughs> oh, that's got to be fun, hasn't it? I'm looking forward to that one. I've got to redo my Dell Boy at some point. I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, the more of them we do, the, the, easy, the easier the these to get to that stage will become. Well, mm. it was a, a few months ago, six months, seven months ago, that had been the end stage. But it, I mean, it's not now, because at mm. some point we're going to add or, you know, what's the word? Tighten it up, isn't it? Same I do with landscapes. I did it. Hang on. Let me show you there. Ooh, change the. Oh, not stop it. Hang on. Uh, got that one. Where's the. Oh. But I didn't. This one didn't stop when I finished it. That one didn't, I didn't finish, I didn't stop there. You know, I added, I added, I scratched out um, some work on there. Uh, I added more yellow and trying to get some more light and one thing there. So, and I put some more bits in those rocks at the front. Subtle, subtle, subtle. You can see what I was on about though, from if you looked at the one I finished with last week, it was all right, but it didn't have a, no sparkle. Hmm. Yeah, you did say that at the time. You weren't happy with it. Did I? I can't, well, I'm glad. Yeah, you said there wasn't enough warmth and light in it. Yeah. But here I've scratched out um, some sparkly bits, added a bit. Much better, much better. Mm -hmm. So they're never finished. No. You just gotta, you just do more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. I enjoyed today. I, I, yeah. I really love that. Um, who am I? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Not Lawrence. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> no, I've, I'm really pleased with that. I think next week, next week we're we're going to Sandbanks. Right. Go to Sandbanks. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. I've never painted Sandbanks. Okay. That one of the um. Lorna Dean. Mm. Reason I haven't fin unframed it, so I've got a picture of um, an old boy up pushing a bike just stood there, and I'm going to put that on the other side of the Ford. Mm. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, Chrissy's fault. She mentioned Chris uh, jigsaw puzzles, so now I've got <laughs> going to put more things in it to make it more of a jigsaw. Mm. <laughs> it's not such a daft idea though because I could quite easily take a high quality print of that and send them off and get some jigsaw puzzles made yeah because I'm not because once we put I no, once you do that mm -hmm. there's no copyright on it really because well it's more than 60% different from the original photograph anyway which is yeah. and anyway I wouldn't go and photograph that myself can I so it's, it's mm. irrelevant anybody whinges 
Mm. Publish and be damned. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you now. So yep. uh, I'll like see you all next week. Okay. Bye, Bye Gordon Anne. Bye, Dave. Bye. Thanks very much. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Dave, I'll, I'll log off. Thanks very much for that. You all right? Yeah. Anne's, Anne's disappeared. Yeah, I noticed she was, didn't appear to be there. Mm. No, she's still not feeling right. No, she's no better. So you're not going away? You're not going? Oh, no. No, I don't No, think. no. Well, at the moment, she's still waiting to talk to the doctor tomorrow. Mm. Um, yeah, oh well, let's yeah. hope those antibiotics kick oh, in eventually. The end of the second lot of antibiotics, yeah. yeah uh, it's a nasty virus around though, isn't it? It's quite a few people have got it. Yeah. Yeah. This cough and, you know, sore throat. Yeah, I've got it as well. But obviously, you know, we yeah. that as well. Carol's got it, you know, Carol came on briefly, mm -hmm. I think it was before Dave came in on <laughs> when we were just chatting, and um, she's got this awful sore throat and cough. Mm. Well, we just locked yeah. down again almost, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, well, wish you all the best for me, and I will see you all next week. Yeah, I'm starving. I'll see you, Gord. Bye. Keep your picker up. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Bless you.